Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Youngblood. I'm coming to you from Rock Island, Illinois. I currently teach across the Mississippi River at Mid-City High School in Davenport, Iowa, where I'm a diversion coach and a health teacher. Uh, prior to that, I was an at-risk interventionist uh, for the Davenport Community School District. I also uh, taught IJAG in the Davenport Community Schools. Uh, before that, I was in Fort Myers, Florida and taught at a charter high school down there, health and PE. And then I started my career in Quincy, Illinois uh, as a health and PE teacher. I'm married, father of two, two wonderful boys, Noah and Peter, ages two and six. Uh, why do I want to become a principal? It seems like becoming a principal has been a natural progression in my career. As I've held more leadership positions throughout my career, it's something I really uh, strive to do. I got started with my master's a little bit later than anticipated because life happens and I got married and had two children and, and traveled extensively. Um, I have a passion for education. My mother was an administrator. It's always been a goal of mine. Uh, ever since I was young, I was uh, focused on becoming an, uh, an educator. Uh, so this this is a career that I sought out from, from a very young age. Uh, my personal exp experiences with supervisory duties. Uh, I was on the school improvement team in, in Fort Myers, Florida. I work with eight different staff members and focus on data to try to improve our, our high school. I was a key presenter for the SACS accreditation process. Um, I was a department head of one of two departments in the school, so I oversaw a team of about 16 teachers uh, that really spread messages from the principal through our, through our meetings, focus on content data uh, to try to improve our school as well. Uh, I was a regional coordinator for IJAG for the Quad Cities region. Uh, currently at Mid City High School, I'm in charge of the attendance team to where we focus on attendance data and interventions to try to get uh, students to school and provide additional supports for them to uh, improve attendance. Um, I'm also a part of the student intervention team uh, as part of my diversion coach responsibilities and also play a key role in PBIS. Uh, I've been coaching for 10 years. I coach baseball and basketball. Uh, I started that in Quincy and, and moved all the way through. I did take some time off in Florida, but I recently got back into that. Well, not so recently, but in the past six years, I've been back coaching baseball and basketball in Davenport. Uh, personal experience with evaluations. Uh, evaluations were very daunting initially. I was, I was very nervous uh, during my first years of evaluation. I had a veteran principal, though, uh, when I came into my first job in Quincy that really made me kind of relax a little bit more. Um, I dealt with a lot of anxiety in college and getting up in front of people and teaching, and it, and it really kind of settled down after my first year, and she was a key cog in that, and she you know, provided a lot of support and, and encouragement for me to, to relax and do a better job. Um, my first years, uh, they called me the natural, uh, which I didn't feel I was, but um, they said I did a good job uh, just naturally without a lot of coaching. So that really kind of boosted my confidence a little bit and really made me who I am today. Uh, I really never had a negative evaluation, but the feedback on evaluations is extremely important to try to improve uh, as an education professional. Um, my current position I have at Mid-City is actually because um, my evaluator for my at-risk interventionist program, uh, Ms. Pitts, had uh, given me, gave me uh, glowing reviews and really desperately tried to get me over to my current position at Mid-City High School. And that played a key role in me getting over there and working with her and, and working with these students. Um, like I said, the, the evaluation feedback is essential in, in becoming a better, better teacher. Uh, as far as an administrator, it's, it, it's important that you're fair and consistent and really, you know, help people uh, to try to improve in their craft um, and not necessarily tear them down all the time. But anyhow, uh, great to meet everyone. Look forward to working with you this semester. Uh, best of luck to all of you and have a great day. Thank you.